What's happening? I want to thank you for um, choosing me to set up your fire stick for you for the greatest uh, media experience you ever had. What we use here is we use the Badass Media Center. So you've got your fire stick connected to your TV. You put it in an HDMI port. Uh, you plug the power cord into the side of it. You plug it into the wall. Use the power supply that comes with the fire stick. That way you uh, you got adequate su power supply to it. Some of your phone chargers, it looks the same, but they just don't put out enough power. So make sure you're using the one that comes with the fire stick. All right, so you're going to turn it on. It's going to, you have to connect it to your internet. You It'll say network settings. Uh, you click on that. Put it, choose your network, your wireless network. Put in your password, and it'll connect. Now, once you hit your home button, you're going to see this screen here. What you're looking for is that. It's BMC, okay? That's the Badass Media Center. Everything else on there, they're going to charge you. You can use it for Netflix. You can use it for your Amazon Prime, whatever add-ons you like to use. But this right here is the Badass Media Center, and that's what you what you got me for. You go down here, select your down arrow, go to Recent, select that, and let it, let it load up. Now, the first time it's going to connect to your net network, it might take a minute to load up, 30 seconds, something like that, depending on your internet speed. You do need... Uh, Pretty fast, reliable, high-speed internet for the greatest experience. This is loading up here. You'll see the Simply Krypton screen. And this is it. This is what comes up. Now, you're going to get some flashes down here in the bottom section of the screen right down here. And that tells you that your add-ons are updating. All right. Once this weather temperature up here populates up in the top corner, things get to rolling, then it's time you can start selecting. But until then, just kind of sit here, hang out, and wait for it to, to do its thing. That's populated. Everything's, everything's done. So we're ready to go. Um, cool stuff. TV shows. Now, like I said, there's so many choices on here to use. I use numbers. And then I use Genesis and I use Yoda, but for the most part, I just go arrow up and over and I select numbers. 99.9% .9 of the time, numbers is what I'm using, okay? Select that and you can follow along with the other video that I sent you or you can, you know, watch this one. Uh, you got ways to select your TV shows, genre, networks, so you want to, your networks, all your television networks are here. You got A and E, AMC, everything. All right, all your networks. So you want to say you want to watch, say you want to watch uh, a show on Discovery. I don't know. I choose Discovery ID, but when you see it, you select it. It's going to go out and scrape the internet for all the shows that are on Discovery ID. There's all kinds of them. Right, every show that's on there. Now these are shows that they're from the internet database, so um, they're all shows that were on there. Now you just got to see, we'll just click on one, and you'll see if it'll go out and scrape the internet and see who has it. There's the seasons, every season, every episode. Now you got to realize most of your, this is brand new, 2-2019, when this show aired. Um, got to realize some of your more popular shows are always, they have them. Some of your less popular shows, there's very limited amounts of people that, that have them on their, uh, on their device for you to watch. It's scraping the internet and it's seeing how many, how many of people that it shares networks with that's going to uh, allow them to watch that show. Now this is the same way you're going to search for movies. Any movie you want to watch. In any of them, right? Uh, live sports, live uh, pay-per-view, football, baseball, basketball, soccer, everything. So see, it's it's found a total of 193 streams for this show. So then it comes up, and it's going to show you. And I always just choose the top one. Um, you always just choose the first one. Okay, open load is going to ask you to pair. That's you know that's a that's fine for you to do. Hot tip, real quick, something to show you. 
this first guy right here, Cartoon HD, that's the library, okay? That's the picture quality, all right? Open load is the network, that's the speed. So you got two things, two factors here. You got open load is allowing you to use his network to watch the movie show from Cartoon HD. So if I click on this and it's a real crappy picture or it's not the right picture, it's Cartoon HD's problem. So if I was to try another one, this one would be the same. And anywhere else down through here, a more uh, better uh, I would be Project Free TV. See how many times it's on there? So if I say this picture came up in Spanish, and every one of these right here would be the same picture. So you'd waste your time doing all them. All right. But if it was a perfect picture and it was really good, but it was slow and kept cutting out and it was buffering, that's open loads problem. So then you do stream and go. See, but this open load would be, still be a problem. See, because that's the network. All right. So that's just a little quick tip on that. Now, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to select stream and go. And it should come up down here at the bottom and say it's working. It's choosing there. See, it says working, the players in the bottom corner over there. <clears throat> and then it should start, should start playing. Boom, there it is. It works the same way with movies, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Because I don't want to play it very long. We're already running six minutes into the show, into this video. I'm going to back it all up here. And that works the same with any network, any TV show you got. All right. Um, movies are the same way. You'll figure it out. Numbers. Uh, Genesis. Yoda. Same ones are there. Right. Use the same things. Now, real quick to show you Sports Zone for live sports, I use Rising Tides. See it up there in the corner? Click on Rising Tides. It'll load up. There's uh, football is soccer, okay? If it says American football, you're good, but um, soccer, regular football is soccer. So it says live pay-per-view events. So if there was live pay-per-view going on right now, like say it was Saturday night, a UFC fight or ESPN boxing, um, you click there and boom, there'll be links right there and you just choose them, okay? No live pay-per-view tonight. Extra live content, that's where I find my live sports. All my live sporting events that are on, you know, like on cable networks. Um, and there, there are the times, you know. There's the heat and the thunder start at 7 o'clock. We'll click on the link. Boom, there you go. Alright, this is great. If it's not the best media center you've ever seen, and it's absolutely free, all you need is high speed internet. All right, go over there, stop it, back up, choose something else, you can get out through the next ones. You know, there's some games start at 9.30, there's hockey. Uh, remember, everything is this is all uh, whatever time the game started, all right? Live events. It's not like recorded, it's live, all right? Okay, uh, live TV, go to TV Guide, Oblivion Streams, Midian Live, these are all links for live TV. <laughs> Global Entertainment. Uh, some of these are pay, some of them are not. Uh, Oblivion Streams, I believe, is free. I'm, getting, I'm on nine minutes, so I don't want to, don't want to last over ten minutes. It takes too long to load up on YouTube, but uh, I'll load this to YouTube. And like I said, this is all, it's all free. It's maintained by people, the good fellows over there at the Badass Media Center. Um, so one, it might work great today. This afternoon, the channel might not work or the network might not work because they're down for maintenance. They'll be back up. It'll come back up and work, you know. You just got to.
try them out. So I just went down, I showed Shadow TV, and then there's all your channels. So you want to go to USA Channels. And like I said, all this requires on your internet speed, how good your network is. So there's all your channels. Just go down here and hit AMC, because a, I know that's a pay channel. Not something you can get with an antenna. So we'll try it. Okay, so see how that movie, the play error went away? So that means that channel's not available right now. It's not working right now. So you, you know, you go down, see if there's other ones. If I use Discovery, let's try to see if Discovery Channel works. I haven't used Oblivion for a few days, so it, it may be down for maintenance. It may not, I don't know. Um, there it is. We'll see. It's live cable TV right there. Alrighty, there you have it. I'm going to cut this off. You always want to stop your shows, whatever you're stopping. And to say you want this on your favorites, you can you can hold this down, hold down your select button. That's this big thumb button right here in the middle. You hold that down. And you see it says add to favorites, just select that. So then when you go the next time, you just go down here to the star. See the star down here in the bottom corner? You click on it and there's your favorites. So then all you have to do is just select it from there. It'll take you right back to the USA channels. You put your TV shows there. When you find TV shows you like to watch all the time, or if it's a favorite movie you want to watch, man, I like to come back and watch it again. You put that in your favorites, and you can jump right back to it. You don't have to search. All right. Uh, I want to thank you. Enjoy. Shoot me a text message if you have any questions. Uh, just remember, I'm always, I'm always here to help you. So y'all have a good night, and I'm out.